Hello, it's John Britt. Today we're going to show you how to make a two-piece mold. And uh, what I'm making uh, is some bones that I got from KFC. I had some chicken and then I saved them. But this is what I will eventually be making is a bone chair or just some sculptures with bones. So here you can see I took my bones from KFC and I, sma I just smashed them in here. Then what I'm going to do is make sure that uh, there's no undercuts. So usually you go around with a square edge tool like this and just smooth it. Sometimes you can use these other nice tools just to you know clean everything up so it's nice and sharp and there's no undercuts. Undercuts will make the, the piece stick in the plaster mold, which you don't want. Okay, next what we have to do is make some registration marks. Uh, sometimes I'll do them like that. Sometimes I'll just take a tool and uh, stick it in like that. Any way you can do it, but it's just places where the mold will uh, fit together and be solid. Okay, so now what we're going to do, the way I do this, I don't make a wooden coddle. I, I, I've done that, but this is a much simpler method, quick and down and dirty. Uh, I just take a piece of flashing and I cut it to approximately the size I want, the depth I want, and then I sort of figure out the shape, and then I just hold it on there. And when I think it's right, I just push it in. Now, wear some gloves or something, because it can be very sharp. But uh, I've done it a few times, so I kind of got the program going. So now you can look in there and see um, that it's in there. Now I'll take something and I'll coat the bones with some release so they don't stick. Uh, and in this case, I'm using uh, mineral oil. You can also use... Um, cooking oil or Vaseline or uh, some mold makers will use uh, uh, soap. They call it soaping a mold. So that's what you do. You just coat anything you don't want to stick. Now we need to make the uh, plaster. So I got a mask. I'm going to put this mask on and then I'm going to, to make it. I've got about three cups of water here. I'm going to pour that into a bucket and then I'm going to take about three or more cups of plaster and sprinkle it in. So I won't do a lot of talking, but uh, what you do is you sprinkle it in, it's called the island method, and you sprinkle it in until islands form, and then that's good. Some people weigh it, but that, that's all up to you. This is just the down and dirty method. Okay? Come over here and show me. Okay, you can see those islands forming now, and so sometimes I'll just go around and put some more on the side. If you, the more you got in there, uh, the harder that it'll be, the harder the mold will be. If you want a soft mold and you don't care, uh, you can not use as much. And then I take my little hand blender and I stir it. What you want to do is not have, um, you want to not have chunks, but you also want to not have air. Okay, now here's the way I do this. I, um, I just pour it in there, and then I take my brush, and you can see like, I'll, I'll spread it around. What happens if you just pour it in there sometimes, it'll um, leave air bubbles. So this way I kind of get it coated on everything, and then I'll pour the rest in. And then when I'm done, I just can, uh, you know, I, what I normally do will just be tap the, uh, the side of it and lift it up and, and you can see air bubbles come up. Okay, so now when we're done with that, what you do is you'll take the mold, turn it over, take the, um, oh, sometimes on the mold, if I have to, I will use duct tape. Forgot to tell you that part. I will duct tape around this. This mold itself is so small that it doesn't matter, but I will duct tape around to hold it. Now it won't come out. So then when I'm ready to take it off, I can just uh, 
take this off. I'm just doing this so you, you can see. A lot of times I'll just take the clay out um, from the inside and leave the cottle on so it's all even. And so now what we've got is, uh, you can see the bones. And now what I'll have to do, everything should be fine, except that I have to soak this all now. Soak it or uh, oil it or so that the next coating that I do will not stick to it. Now, uh, I can use this oil because I'm just doing a press mold. If you're going to do a mold like um, uh, slip casting, you probably want to use soap. It's a, it's a better method because uh, the soap will wash out. You're impeding a slip casting if you use oil. But in, since we're slip, so since we're doing um, press molding, it's not that critical. So anyway, so now I would put this mold back on here, this jacket. I'd put my tape back on, and then I would make another batch of plaster, pour it in, and uh, that's how I make my mold. So what you'll see here, here's a finished product, which I have then, I've then cap, I've then pushed clay in here, and uh, then I can get my little bones out like this. You just push it on. You see these mold. Uh, these registered lines will line up. You push clay in there, and then there you go. All right, well, that's a down and dirty way to make two-piece molds.